um, Terry, in some way that we need to review it? Yeah. I see that this is part of our package. That is it's not the updated version? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's the version I brought to the last it's Oh, I see. So it's week. part of the minutes. It's Got part it. of the minutes. Okay. Uh, oh, this is part. The letter? This letter is part of the minutes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Got it. Just uh, as part of the public record. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks. Workshop? They are put, they're put on by the same people, the same workshop, just different places, yes. I, the only thing is, I think the difference is the Amherst one is a, um, may not have the outdoor demonstrations like the one in Pittsfield does. So there's going to be oh. Oh. about an hour, an hour and a half worth of outdoor demonstrations. Oh, um, oh that would be interesting. That's why I picked that one. Yeah. I'm hoping that that's. Uh, hmm. our um, online spreadsheet for everybody to use, which is very helpful service. So I encourage you to continue to go there. Based on what you report out at the end of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is everyone feeling like they're keeping up with their to-dos? Oh, yeah, I'm right on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm answering emails, you guys. That's as fun as I can get between the files of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> We've done a lot, Mitch. Yeah. Does, any, does anybody address? else get some of their entries in Greek? No. What about you? It's so weird. Every once in a while, one of them, I can kind of read it because the characters sort of look like. <laughs> because you studied ancient no. Greek in seventh grade? <laughs> Look, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, no, I believe you. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know why that I happens. have no idea. That's just you? 
Is that Apparently, no, that's else? not happened to me. It happened yeah. to be in the history of me. Yeah. Can, yeah. can you try yeah. selecting all and then changing a different font and see if that changes? Mm -hmm. oh. um, all right, so I'm going to move on to the next Sorry. agenda oh, okay. item. Because it's class, my last Okay, yeah. Is that right? Well, I didn't make the January 31st meeting. You're in the minutes, though. Okay. Just asking about the, the to do list. Do you want me to oh, send okay. it to you? Or, or can I add to that list myself? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And then I'll pick up with tonight. Yeah. Okay, I'll okay. do Okay. Have you been to Florida or something? North Carolina. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was 83. Woo! Wow. All right, chair report. I have a few things that I want to mention. Um, one is the doodle poll. Okay, so this is not good <laughs> because there's not a single day or time when all Everybody of us can meet. Not so Jen, do you now have to escape at, at, five, uh, like at 5 or 5.30? Because um, let me just pull it up. And there's one where I'm like, oh, Jen, can you stretch it for a Which, now? what day of the week was it? It was Wednesday. So, um, till, till seven? I think that that was it. I'm pulling it up now. I have this ongoing thing I go to every yeah. Wednesday at seven. Yeah. The, like that's, that's when it starts, you know? I think that was the. That's the only one where Jay, I mean, Jay's, nope. Jay can only do five to seven now. Uh huh. And of the five to sevens, there isn't one that comes even close to other, uh, enough other people to make it. Not even close. Like we're missing four people uh -huh. at, e at each one. But that one, we're just missing you. What, um, uh, could you stay till quarter two? Yeah. Because, you know, we yeah. often get done. I mean, most of our meetings are an hour and a half. Yeah. I can, I, if, if that's so it's I'm, not ideal, but I could probably do it. What about, uh, about yeah. 6.30? Would that be? Yeah, totally. Okay. Oh, I have 645. Six, yeah, okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So I um, to go I, I, I'd like then for us to consider uh, effective immediately, because we need Jay to be back in these meetings, mm -hmm. um, to shift our meeting time from, let's say just, let's just say 5 to 5, it says 645. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that officially. 5, five to 645? 5 to 645 five six, five five six. on Wednesdays. Right. Okay. And we'll continue. I personally. Would love us to continue doing once every two weeks. I just see momentum able to continue with this, with the work we're doing in a way that you just don't get with once a month. Once a month is not cutting yeah. to half the work. It's like cutting to a quarter of the work because yeah. you lose momentum. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the, only, so, the only issue, excuse me, that I yeah. see is that a lot of times this room is booked after us. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. So we may... Oh. Right. Find, um, Terry will have to okay. go through the list and see what's right. available, and then other sites. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think we're willing to entertain other sites. What are some other sites? Like the senior center was. The senior center is one. Um, I think because of our change of hours, Forbes Library would be out because they close it. Actually, mm -hmm. Wednesdays they stay open until now. Oh, yeah. So um, actually, Wednesday. So yeah, Forbes Wednesday, has yeah. uh, several meeting rooms. Yeah. We can, they're oh. very nice. We've met, oh, I've been in a couple of them. Yeah, the Watson room. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and then they would actually probably even uh, serve dinner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> light, light a fire. No. Uh, no, there's other rooms in that building as well that Calvin actually, Coolidge. yeah, that they could they can yeah. let us use. Yeah. What we do about filming? I don't know that that is required, is it? Filming of commission meetings? It's a public meeting, so I think it oh, is. A good there question. is a requirement. I mean, I think it's an ideal, but uh, I, mean, the other, the other place, the other place, we'll, we'll I don't do it. think it's a requirement. I don't think it's a requirement. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's an ideal. Okay. Okay. So I mean, that, that's that's one. The other place we could meet is at the DPW if we had to, but that's like a last resort because that room is like terrible. Yeah, I love not being there. And it's got a lot of bad vibes Juju. There from years before. It does. Free stuff. I still hold it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 from people or can we see Johnson? Oh, from the old. Probably put a camera over there. At Forbes? Yeah. They used, to, they used to make us sit on the periphery. Yeah. I, w I watched, so part of the presentation when I gave a Fall River, what I was talking about is I watched that meeting where you went to the Joint uh, City Council yeah. Public Work Board, Public Works meeting. Yeah. You know, all these people are sitting in the back and ladies at the table, and the table's like engulfing her. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just like, and you're looking at the screen. And there's no windows in there. It's like a bomb shelter. Yeah, wow. it's it's. It was 
but it's it's going to be offices, so it's not going to make windows now. Well, not okay. be a conference room anymore. Yeah. But yeah, there's other venues. I yeah. Okay. I think I like it. The idea. Those are big windows. Nice big bright windows. Yeah. All right. So um, I I don't know that we need to take a vote on this. What we can just for just to make it clear. Okay. So, so someone. Make I'll a I'll move that we change our times as stated. Wednesdays five to six forty-five. Yes. Starting on the eighteenth. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Do okay. we need a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Done. I will um, send an email about um, to everybody about the change of time and. Um, Can we post I'll, I'll that? I'll tell them about the change of time. 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 Yes, we'll need to do that. Second and fourth, still, right? And then Terry, you'll be on as first soon as possible about third. location. I'll, right. let, I'll just let them know right. that the times changed location TBD. And that letter. That you're signing has the old time. <laughs> First and third. You know what? If there aren't that many of them. Uh, I can just do more. I'll just fix them. If there aren't that many of them, I can I can just. I'll do it. Just yes, we don't have the venue. You know what? I, you know what? No one will do it. Lily, all I need, all I need is, a, is a white piece of paper, and I just need you to sign the white piece, piece of paper, and I can forge your. Oh, okay. Stuff, you so. mean just electronically yes, scan it and that yeah. sort of, so this piece of paper? Yes, that's for you to just sign your name in. You just need a forgery in the television. <laughs> no, it's not forgery. All right. No, this is totally live. It's an electronic signature. Social security number 046. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll do it a couple times. You can, you can have choices, whichever you think is most convincing. And that actually will give me a little chance. So as I was doing that, I'll put it. Okay, yeah. All right. So it's still first and third Wednesday. So it's still the first and third Wednesday, but it's now five to six forty five. That's great. Glad glad we could find some post that's okay. actually better for me too. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Just in case you go Okay. Good good good. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh other things, chair report. What happened to my thing? Is Molly Freilisher let us know, let Rich and I know, that the Tree City USA celebration is happening here in Northampton. Mm -hmm. It's happening on May 30th, for sure, at the Garden House at Look Park. And they're giving Rich and I an hour wow. <laughs> to give the presentation, which I think is too much time. But um, th th we can have plenty, leave plenty of time for <coughs> Q&A. Magic so tricks. I, you know, is, can we make it possible for all of our crew to go, or do we have to limit it to? So I, I just feel like when it's on our home turf, we yeah, have no, I'm, I'm waiting for her to send up and I'm, I'll reach out to her about that. I think okay. she would like the mayor to give some opening remarks. Okay, great. Um, so nice. I need to get his no, it's the first time nice to get his. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, it's usually kind of an all-day affair. Like eight thirty to three thirty to two. Yeah. Yeah, early, to early afternoon. It also depends how many um, uh, communities mm -hmm. come to get their award. A lot of people come for the food and then we only see use and then they leave. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, Molly has to drag all those boxes <laughs> and all the awards and all the signs oh. back yeah. with her to cameras, but it's actually closer than yeah. being where yeah. we've been yeah. other places. So. Do you have to register everybody that goes? Uh, she will send an invite and then I will have to register folks, but I will preempt that by email and asking her if we can actually have uh, for the More commissioners. Yeah. They should do what the uh, UMass does now, UMass Extension. Anytime you go to get CEUs, they, they don't give it to you to the very end. Uh -huh. They give you the sheet at the very end. Yeah. You have to say, uh -huh. you have to show your license now for mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because people were actually going there and claiming to be someone else and taking the CEUs. What? Wow. Oh, wow. Well, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I wonder why they were doing that. Yeah. All right. Well, this just to say that I think it, that it is an honor and I think it, it, cool. that we've been chosen for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yay. Yay you for us. Speak. Yes, we can speak. And, and we'll cool. definitely look at r refining and augmenting the, the presentation. I have some thoughts. Stuff we're we're doing right now, like the our three year plan, I feel like is is just really a good good model to share. So, um, what else did I want to mention? I also want to mention, and uh, Rich or Rich, you can that UMass reached out to us with a proposal to plant some elm trees, <clears throat> starting with they just happen to have four bare root 
elm varieties that are not the typical Princeton elm, but are another kind of um, so-called resistant elm that they have ready to just hand over to us. So thinking about choice location for, for those, um, I, I thought that you would, I, I think that we showed enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. But then the other piece was they wanted to know if we want to be part of a larger project of planting and, and tracking the success of certain elm varieties. And that could end up leading to quite a number of elm trees coming our way. They, they, were, they were very elusive about the specifics because they just can't promise anything at this point, but they wanted to know if we were interested in the concept of being part of this project. And 40, the field 40, test. 45 young elm saplings in a variety of urban locations like street type plantings, larger tree belt plantings, open park landscape spaces, um, and then they would need the maintenance to get them off the ground for the initial fall watering, so now summer watering the following year. So it is, he didn't, we, I asked him a few questions and he didn't really have, uh, yeah. you know, we don't have the specific protocols slash methods from the United States Forest Service yet, but mm -hmm. like a few select communities in the Northeast. So I think because of our vigorous uh, aftercare program and our commitment to the, our canopy. Mm -hmm. I, I, How many are we getting? Did you say that? I don't know. They said, he said there's 45 available. Now, whether that means it's, wow. we get half of them, we get some of them. Right. We do, I don't know the answer yeah. to that question yet. Yeah. Who's offering them, though? Rick, yeah. Rick Harper. Oh, you mentioned You mass extension yep. service. Hmm. And then uh, Nick Brze followed up with an email, um, and he has uh, two bare root elms. That's four. Just two? I that think it's four. two. No, maybe it's four. Oh, I definitely read four. Did you? Yeah. Are these full size, you know, the nice big elms like at Smith College? Uh, large, the large tree category? Yeah, uh, so no, he's. It says four, four trees in total representing two cultivars. Yeah. Six to seven feet tall and oh, much in diameter. Disease resistant, oh. disease resistant American elms. Mm -hmm. um, the first is Prairie Expedition, and the, uh, a highly Dutch shown disease resistant and extreme cold tolerant released in 2004 and second is the St. Croix, um, just released in 2015 and also has an extreme cold tolerance. Both cultivars originate from survivor trees in the mm. upper Midwest and came through the Bailey Nursery. Yeah, go trees. Yeah, mm. all right, right. The goal, <laughs> you know, the goal is to get beyond the Princeton and Valley Forge, yeah, which right. has been, which been stable elms. And problematic. Uh, and yeah. somewhat problematic, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, and they're actually wanting to see what kind of canopy architecture these other cultivars also exhibit, so yeah. we're not quite sure. How oh, they don't know exactly how no. big they're no. how spreading they're going to be. Yeah. No, so we, we have to find some nice open hmm. places yeah. to put them in and just, you know. What about, I had a thought. Wait, I just want to, this okay. is part of the chair report, oh. so I don't want to go too okay. deep into anything. We can circle back to this. Okay. Um, Okay, so the last thing I just want to mention is uh, um, under any other business, and I'm going to put in d d further Elm thoughts under um, any other business, but also under any other business. Um, uh, so I just sent you in the last hour, and I don't know if any of you even read your email, but the, a suggestion to add to any other business uh, mm -hmm. a, a, a very brief presentation by my daughter Madeline on the, her tree labeling proposal, she just got thumbs up from Smith College. And I figured, hey, get in there because <laughs> if it needs approval by the mayor, then these things just take a while. Mm -hmm. If she can get in today and, and, and get our blessing, then she, we can move this thing along. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I sent everyone electronically the proposal, but I, um, I, she's gonna come and I, I'm just trying to think, Terry, Rich, would I be able to send it to you and have Terry print it out or is that? You need a hard copy, don't you? Because yes. we don't have a printer here. She could also she could also read the. I can actually I can actually if you email it to me I can email it to Lynn and Lynn can print it out. Okay, there. it's in your should be in your inbox. Under this, it's it's like a follow up message to agenda plus. Agenda draft. Uh, there was a link right on the site. Right? Draft application. No, it's key, scroll down to the the latest, most recent message. When's that going to happen, Lynn? It'd be a summer project. No, but she's presenting today. Any other business? I have her coming at 5:20. So is that okay for folks? Yeah. Okay.
Okay, sorry, that was a much longer than usual tree, uh, chair report. I think it's like eight, around 8,000. Yeah. So it was very interesting because I gave the presentation to the folks that, you know, the first question I, I got was, how many people live in North Hampton? I said, 20, 28, 29,000. The lady just shook her head. She, yeah. like, she goes, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, took the, I took it and I reworked it and I added um, mm -hmm. some of the things that the commission is presently working on and just kind of changed it. I just reorganized it so mm -hmm. it kind of was chrono more chronological and okay. didn't jump around, got rid of the duplicate slides, mm -hmm. um, but really left the, the huge piece in the middle, which talks about the citizen engagement mm -hmm. and the citizen renewal engagement, which I think is really the important message that I was trying to get across to people, you know, because it ties, it basically ties the two time periods together. Mm -hmm. It ties the beginning of the time, really, in a sense, and from the 50s, 60s, and then the decline in the 70s and 80s, and then it ties all that together to what we're doing today. So I think it took me, it did take an hour to get the presentation, but no one was bored. Mm -hmm. And I got a standing over it. Yeah, really it was very strong. Great. So it was, it was awesome. It was worth the drive and going there. And, but I think it was interesting is I got to understand how they run their program over there. They really don't have one. They have a, mm -hmm. that volunteer group, there was one woman there who just passed away, who actually was instrumental oh, in planting yeah, trees. 
planting trees for the last 20 years yeah. and they started a nursery and so they have I think the city gives them 15,000 a year but it's not a consistent 15,000 mm -hmm. and the tree crew like we have here is two part-time employees that work in the cemetery that all wants wow and they have a bucket truck that only goes about 25 to 30 feet and so they have to hire out to have all their removals mm -hmm. but they wait till wow. the trees are totally dead yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. so it's, it's yeah. pretty pretty kind of sad actually yeah, yeah, yeah. are they a tree city yeah. they are they are a tree city USA. well they're also a gateway city also a gateway that received tree. over a million dollars worth of support for tree re, tree repair yeah. uh, yes they are one of uh three gateway cities holyoke fall river um, probably, I mean, Springfield got, I don't know if it was part of the whole gateway um, mm -hmm. funding, uh -huh. but it was diff because of the, the, her the tornado, mm -hmm. Springfield got like a yeah, whole yeah, other yeah. pot of them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I can't remember what the third one was. Lawrence? But there have been more. There, this was just in one funding cycle. There have probably been others. I know that. Um, uh, Chicopee, mm -hmm. I think at one point got some. Anyway, the, just a huge amount of support. It, it, remember Andrew Smith, who yeah. was on the commission? Mm -hmm. He was administering basically a right. huge grant for mm -hmm. polio to plant all those trees. Right. Right. So the other thing I learned too is that the city of Concord uses Davy Tree in the same fashion. They actually have a contract with Davy, and they utilize a Davy person who was lit as a spender other part of the time mm -hmm. as the tree board. So these communities don't have tree work. Yeah, a whole right. room. No, yeah. they just have, they just have uh, contractors. Yeah. Wow. So, so I mean, that was, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have a lot of, I mean, I work on letters and just been trying to keep my head above water. The other things we have done here, I can't really just, I don't have any public shade tree here. Just, one thing I will say though is that I've been working with the planning department to get the uh, planting, tree planting list of guidelines incorporated as part of their documentation. And there's a few hurdles, um, not, not as long as well, I think. Um, there's some tree species that, for example, like scarlet oak, for example, we don't have scarlet oak in that list, but we just planted them at Smith, I mean at the forest, so we need to change a few things for them. Um, Pushing along gently, so uh, and actually we're going to gently kind of forcefully say, you know, we need to adopt this. Mm -hmm. um, so, and the other thing is, is that there's going to be that if you're well aware of that large proposed dog park off of the first Glendale Road, yeah. there's going to be a lot of tree removal. Oh. And that's really, that, that has a large mat mature standard of white pines. Oh. So, oh. I'm waiting for the actual inventory to come back to, to actually see how many trees are going to be removed. What's the, so that would not what are the rules true. on that? I mean, is there a restriction on how many they can remove? Well, it's going to be private property, right? But it is when the significant tree ordinance applies. It does trigger it? Yes. Oh. So because they had to pull a planning document of, what is that called? Site uh, plan. Yeah, site plan. Review. Review. Yeah. Yeah. Question. So, yes. Um, very much related to that. What if, when Smith College, you know, it, it's doing its library and it's um, tragically taking down some beautiful specimens, including um, uh, an elm tree, an American elm as old as the campus. Yeah. Um, Who's doing that? What a shame. Uh, the, 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 the arbors had to make the decision that, that they, they started trying to, to build a library or um, um, yeah. saving yes. some of these trees, but they severed so many significant roots that they made the decision that oh. So my question, though, is did, did that get captured? And no, so is a 513 plan, The plans were in the works before the significant tree ordinance was adopted. Oh, were they? I mean, you know, it's an, it's an arboretum. The college, I know, it takes a lot of mm -hmm. care, but still, that that those trees of that size, we want to make sure that there is a there is like an inch to inch. By the way, one day I was walking through and they were just starting last summer, and there was a utility vehicle park right near yeah. a tree, mm -hmm. and I just introduced myself as a commissioner on the tree commission, and just said, oh, by the way, would you mind moving your vehicle because that we can compress the roots. And then, oh, 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 okay. Like he was nice about yeah. it, but. I was thinking the same thing that happened at Forbes. Yeah. It was about to happen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, so that's okay. that's good. That's a project that's going to take a little bit of 
work because I, the preliminary estimates from the people actually who, the, who had the inventory, they said they were talking like three hundred thousand dollars worth of tree work to, to replace what they're what they're losing, which doesn't make any sense to me. Because I have not, I have not seen, yeah, because they're actually they're taking out large stands of the pines. So I, I have not seen Why? the plans yet. I have right. the I don't even have a real inventory okay. to work off of. So one of the things I'm trying to work with them next door is to actually make them have a real inventory. Mm -hmm. Good. So, so that yes. way there you actually have an inventory of everything, including stuff that is not, you know, 20 inches in deep. Yeah. So yeah. Inventory sure. of all the trees right. and you have to figure out what you're going to do with them. All right. Can you point me to where the ordinance or whatever is that? It's online. List, list. It's, so if you go to this, the city website, mm -hmm. there's you'll see a tab that says ordinances, ordinances and something else. And then you can just search by keyword. So search significant tree mm -hmm. and you, and it'll come up. Okay. Go to Eco 360 Northampton. What's it called? Eco 360 Northampton. Okay. Okay. So that's anything else you need? No, it's just no there's no public shape hearing schedule for anything. No one's asked for anything. Okay. We're just we're just doing a lot of tree work. No. All right, Arbor Day preparation. Um, I'm. Yeah, these letters circulated. Oh yeah, this is what the final product looked like minus the signatures. And the so I I have have meeting time. Is this the one that's in the minutes? No, 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 no that's something else. This is the revised one, and it's on the letterhead for Tim Abanchika. Yes. Oh, since he's not using them, we might as well. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. He can't send them out because they're changing the meeting time. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. We're doing a show and tell. Oh, that's fine. Was that? Double save the trees. Yeah, save the trees and hold this together. I'll go ahead and pass these out just yeah, so that when, when Madeline comes, they'll, they'll be ready to look at. All right, so Arbor Day preparation, we've got that that everyone is looking at. One thing regarding that, Lily, is um, I have not yet, but I will put the spreadsheet as a Google Doc for the landscape companies that we're sending this to. And if anybody has any others, because my original list was just Northampton-based companies, but with, there are some others that I don't know are coming to town. I almost think that we should just have that ready to roll for whenever we, there are more landscape companies that come into our, our view. And just send them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. Um, Maybe we could, somebody's job could be like to review, like just review the list yeah. and send them out. Can you, yeah. are you keeping a spreadsheet of the, of the, I'll, of I'll do is I, I yes. downloaded the, I downloaded yep. that and I added to it and all I'll do mm -hmm. is I'll send that back to you. Okay, then I'll post it. Because okay. I added, like, I started thinking about the people that do tree work in town and there's actually a lot more than just Cotton, C.L. Frank, and Warner. Mm -hmm. There's Larkin, who I deal with, there's mm -hmm. Tossel Tree. Tree Cycle. Tree Cycle. I love Tree Cycle. Yeah. So there's a bunch of other ones. Then I started thinking about the landscapers at Village Hill. For, you know, uh, Spring Valley right. Landscaping is one that's a huge, has a huge, but there's multiple landscapers there. Mm -hmm. So I need to reach out to Mindy and grab their landscaping list that they have so, you know, we can send them to the mall. And, uh, and they're all starting to advertise, so we can yes. all help with yes. that. Right. Yeah. Your name has got a typo in it on the letter. Oh, oh dear. There's two else. Oh. <laughs> Terry, did just you see to that? See if anybody no, noticed. didn't see that. <laughs> Sorry, Richard, that's my typo. No, I didn't. That was yeah. actually, but I, it's my fault. Okay. I mean, I, you think I printed it out a lot? Your last name is tricky. Should just be Smith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, good thing we looked at it one more time. It's a good thing we didn't sign it. It's a good letter. Yeah. Okay. It's friendly but firm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tone. No, the tone is really good. It's really good. All right, so Arbor Day. We've got this letter going to landscapers, which I think we should be very proud of because I think it really deviates from the typical, you know, po you know, I love tree posters, and it, it just it's getting to, <laughs> we're we're hitting the audience. We actually really need to hit. Mm -hmm. um, and any update about Cooley Dickinson? No. I have no update. The only thing I've done is done the concrete planting. Right, and I have written another email saying, "Patience, patience." Well, you're, I mean, I, I'm. The problem is that I need assistance. I can't. It's very difficult. Like it was great to have uh, Jen and Rob come to help me with the one for, and that's kind of 
that's a smaller project versus Cooley Dick is much larger. So yeah. I mean, I'm going to need some assistance okay. to, to move this along. All right. So tell us what you need. Well, I think what we ought to do is probably, and I mean, I, you saw Todd's comments about the project on. Yeah, I'd actually love to just have a moment to speak about that. Sure, that's fine. But but let's finish this one first. So what what sort of what do you need? I just need, you know, I can provide the documentation, and then I just need to help a little help in designing it. Because mm -hmm. okay. I'm not, I mean, I'm, You're not, flat out. I'm not, I'm flat out, but I'm also not really a fantastic design person okay. either. Mm -hmm. So that would be very helpful. Because even if, you know, if you don't physically have the minutes in the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. If, if Rob and I just got, or Rob, Jay and I, or whatever, just got the, um, the plan, you know, we could meet and you wouldn't have, I mean, if you want to be part of it, that's fine. Yeah. But if your schedule is too tight, we can pick a time to meet that we meet, rough something up, and then come and say, so, how about this? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fine. Yeah. I can we just sure. need, it's so helpful to have the plan, because yeah. then we don't have to draw that up. Okay, so. That's kind of. Okay, so the next steps on this are, Jen, you'll corral your people. Yep. And um, you'll, you'll um, get what you need from Rich to then map out a, uh, a, a rough plan. So the other, the other thing that I just wanted to say is that I think personally, from my perspective for operations, we're gonna have to pick one or two of these projects. There's no way that I think operation that we can do both during the week of Arbor Day with all the other things. Oh, well, I, I think it's pretty much given that we're not gonna be doing a really good project. Doing okay. it. It's just, we just don't wanna blow him off. We like, just we want to wanna, keep yeah. indicating that we're moving this forward. Yeah. It's too good of a potential collaboration, yeah. yep. and it's yeah. a nice site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a bus shelter. It's a walkable part of town. It's yeah. also where sick people look out. Right, right, right. exactly. Right, 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 right. It really matters. Right. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. it does. It does. Um, okay, so oh, yeah. okay. so we have clarity that this is we're not shooting for Arbor Day for this, but that we are moving forward, and we have a plan for moving forward. And I'll kind of coordinate that. Okay. As far as the Gazette site, which is looking more and more like it is going to be our feature Arbor Day site. So it sounds like you guys worked up a plan. You sent it to Mark Raven, what? Something. Something Burke. I can't remember the plan. <laughs> um, and, is it Mark the Mike? Mike. I kept calling him Mark, and then I had to apologize. Mm -hmm. Mike. Something, <laughs> and um, and then I um, I I looked at it. I shared it with Todd. Todd gave some feedback to Rich. Do you were you circle on that? Yeah, I was, but I didn't. Um, I think I just didn't saw it today, it. and I didn't have to. Didn't I, have time I to couldn't. It. Yeah. Okay. So um, I yes I um, I think Todd and I, if I can speak for myself. Um, concern about the choice of the trees for on the tree belt were that they were not large enough in the swale and the in the swale but you know the swale is wide and not very swalish it's really kind of swale light um, but yes I'm talking about the swale the mm -hmm. swale part and that it's such a prominent I just drove by there today and it's such a prominent spot for massive trees mm -hmm. I mean you, do, you just don't get um, sites like this very often mm -hmm. in town that I, I wanted us to consider whether, and Todd did too, whether we could choose um, it, bigger set specimens. Especially, uh, not only was the height not very big, it was sweet gum, right? Mm -hmm. No, but no, the, the in the swale was uh, black, black gum, gum. And then, right. And then sweet gums on the other right. side. And the, and the black gums are the ones that are slightly smaller. Mm -hmm. They're smaller. Mm -hmm. So just uh, that, that that would be a place where if you're gonna go for size, um, it seemed like it would have a dramatic effect because the spread over the street then could be significant, and and, and unfortunately the spread isn't isn't tremendous with the with this um, black one. Um, so this it raises a little question though. We've already submitted a plan to the Gazette. Although having said that, I don't think there's any great faux pas in saying, oh, here's you know. Well, you can just say that this is what's available. Ah, that's true. Because that was right. That was part of that was part of because we need. We were kind of under a deadline, yeah. oh. and that was part of the reason we looked at what we had, right, and what we could get. Well, what we could get easily, but I also yeah. think we can also think we can get London plane trees as well. 
which are much larger mm -hmm. and would, would do spreading. would do well there in spreading mm -hmm. um, and would complement um, the rest of Con Street where this other one the plane trees already planted. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. So that, that's a possibility I mm -hmm. think. But I have to um, I actually Rob just emailed me from the Cape about uh, an hour ago asking about a, a tree delivery, so I um, And I also wanted, out of deference to Rob and, and he, um, you know, inserting his comments in this, he did reply to, um, to Todd's comments, and I want to read them. So that Rob, could, Rob? Yes, yeah, Rob did. Uh, he, he replied just to Jen, Todd, and Rich. And so just to throw it into the mix, because I feel like, you know, he provides an interesting perspective. He said, here are a few reasons for the selection. One, it is important to include diversity, and both sweet gum and black gum will contribute to diversity with mm. very few or current inventory. Two, sweet gum cannot be planted in narrow tree belts or pits because of root area. This site gives us the opportunity to plant an otherwise somewhat difficult tree to find sites for, for in our urban landscape. Three, the black gum has a tap root and likes wet location. It is also limited in where we can plant them due to limited ability to cope with urban stress. The swale will help protect the trees from the stress of being directly on the road. Four, the row of sweet gum and the row of black gum will be close to each other, less than 20 feet. Um, this spacing will work better with trees that do not have massive lateral branches. Uh, the size and shape of the trees allow for a greater number, I'm um, sorry, he, I think he, there was a lot of typos when I was trying to figure mm -hmm. out what he's <laughs> For a greater number in each row, creating density. Five, we will be planting very large numbers of London plane trees along the gateways. The spring order is almost one third London plane trees, mm. and it will be planted in high That's limited root volume, high stress areas along King Pleasant Bridge and Bridge Street Bridge Road. The trees could be staggered up to the Gazette, because I think that was one of the things that Todd asked for, staggering, or I can't remember, up to the Gazette, depend, um, depending. Do they want to be able to see the building from the road or not? Not staggered will allow some view of the building. Trees planted in rows without staggering are somewhat are sometimes referred to LEs. Very cool in my opinion. So I want to comment on that. Um, I wonder why he was he, he said that the trees were going to be just 20 feet apart, and we talked about that. They're close to the sidewalk. Is there a reason why the ones hmm. closer to the building couldn't be closer to the building? I have that. It's out of our jurisdiction. I can't do anything about it. Oh, right. The problem is, is that oh. that location is a little funny because the middle of the pile swale is actually the property line. Oh. So we are limited. So when they built Con Street, they had to they asked they had to take an easement to actually build that pile swale and move the sidewalk back into the Gazette property to build the pile swale. So in doing so, we are limited. We can only plant uh, and actually. Right. And get their permission to plant this. You no, you can't. It's got to be within 20 feet of the public right away. So we're limited. So if you go beyond 20 feet of the public right away, even though it is visible in okay, um, oh really? So here, so here's okay. That's pretty. Can everybody see that? This yes. line right here. Mm -hmm. That's so 20 feet the of blue this line. Is, this yep. Green. And here is the actual Green. city property line. Uh, this is all Gazette property. So we're only in here 20 feet. So depending upon. How, you know, you could definitely stagger the trees. You could do oh. all kinds of different things, but you can't go oh. really any farther out. Oh. Are we are we uh, applying that sort of precise measuring to every setback tree planting we do in the city? We are. Well, that's got to be 20 feet. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. realize that. Even mm -hmm. though 10 more feet back would still provide public benefit. Yeah, 10 more feet back would be something that tree can't afford for that particular person. So, that basically, so basically, you can't. I can't. Public money uh, cannot go for any yeah. trees beyond 20 feet of public right oh, okay. That's the issue. So right. we can plant 20 feet from the public right all day long, right? And we have the residents buy in. He's going to ask about that because I, I had certain, I, I did not know that. And so when I sat down and met with him, I said, you know, we would love to, to, to be able to provide shade for your parking lot as well. I mean, that would provide benefit for the public and provide benefit to your employees. So I, that, that'll be something that I'll need to clarify. Riffenberg. Riffenberg, thank you. And it's Mike. Mike, Mike. yep. <laughs> Riffenberg. So we did, in the, in the communication though, Rich did say that, you know, on a separate occasion, we could, you know, 
like between Northampton could be contacted and organize a plan. It's not like that. The rest of that big area is out. No, it's just it's, it's just it's just a different. This is high. This is high visibility, high impact. Um, even if even if the Gazette said to us, we don't really we, we don't want to do the plantings on our property. We can still plant in the middle of that bile soil, mm -hmm. and there's no issue because okay. they'll be right. straddling the city. All right. And until you read that they may not email that. from okay. Rob. I had I did now that I was having the back whole discussion yeah. that he because he has a bigger picture of the yeah. whole inventory in the city yeah. and what we've planted previously because he does the orders yeah. you know so it was an issue of we have these plants they're hard to place we we mm -hmm. it would increase diversity that was, I, I forgot about that so. And I hear that, and I and I respect that perspective, and I do think that, that diversity is something we always want to achieve. I still go back to this being one of the most choice downtown locations we have. And hey, <laughs> you made it. Um, yeah, oh my God, he's winded. You made it. I was Tyler. texting you, and I was locked out. I, you know, oh, I no. my phone. Oh, you were locked out as a oh, no. oh, I had to shut my ringer off so it doesn't go ding dong in the main. <laughs> oh, well, you're actually the timing is perfect. Because only let me in. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's cool out You didn't here. stand down there and throw little things at the window? <laughs> um, and I will just read what Todd said, although Todd, you're here to speak for yourself. His original comment was, why are the trees not staggered and zigzag on both sides mm. of the sidewalk? I would much prefer larger, taller trees on the street, street side. Why not plain trees along the entire swale on the street side? Species with high stomatal conductance and large, mature form are likely to contribute best to bioswale function, and I would add, to traffic calming, of what you know, when you have these jar, large, mm -hmm. massive columns and trees. So, um, so I I hear and respect uh, Rob's both big picture view and his, um, you know, trying to match the tree to the site. And I would still argue that these trees are too small for this this particular really rare and special site. Um, so I uh, I. I do you think that sweet gums could be, there are locations for sweet gums could be had in other parts of the city? Uh, I mean black gums. Sorry, black gums. Yeah, I, I don't have a very good picture of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? What about like you, I, Rich? I, I, I know they like moist, wet areas. Probably. It wouldn't be probably in a large plan scheme like this. It would be mm -hmm. individual sites. I mean, they're adaptable to drier, yeah. and you know, once you get them established, but that's where they're I think there might be one at the end of your street. Really? I'm not sure, but I yeah. think I might have passed it on the way out, on the right, on the corner. There are pretty slow On the right of the corner is a dying oak tree. Mm. Well, um, I'll have to look at it again. Yeah. Out of, doesn't matter. Not relevant immediately. So what would you like to see, Lily? I would love to see Lemon Plain. Just I just think London Plain, I, you know, having traveled in Europe a lot and seeing great, uh, and Brooklyn, you know, Manhattan, and seeing just really wonderful, and I was just in Washington, D.C., um, and seeing just wonderful alleys of, of really broad um, and s spreading trees. How different are they from sycamores? Um, it's, they're not, they're in the same family. It's just that um, sycamores are more river trees and Lund Plain are more urban trees. Oh, well, river tree, I think, because it's a wet site. So yeah. would sycamores yeah. do well there? Yeah, yeah. they like they like And they like trees. urban. I mean, I know they do really well in like, Philadelphia. They were all over the place. Yeah. When they I was in amazing. London, and just walking downtown, just I was in awe of these huge London pine trees. Yeah. Mm. Were you in London? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But there's something magnificent. I'm just imagining right. the yeah. magnificence. Yeah, something the magnificent should be there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what if we put the London plane in the front and put the black gum the in the back? Oh. I don't particularly sure see an issue with that. Because then they yeah, would at least be able to spread over the street. Basically, more. It's, this is kind of like an inventory driven type thing at this point. So yeah. we have, they're available. They will be coming over here with an order of 70 trees. So they are available. They're inch and a half. They're inch and a half and, and a D, inch and a half DBH. So they're not, you know, not huge. They're not yeah. huge, but. I, I do want to make one comment, and that is that normally I really like that we are generally deferring to you guys mm -hmm. for, for citing the right. And I don't want to micromanage all of this. 
I just feel like this is a very oh, unique sure. and special spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we want to keep that in there, good press. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it would it would honor them to do something very dramatic and beautiful, because because um, and and they may not even go for it. I mean, we, certainly we've got the bioswale part covered, but they may not go for the, the stuff. Um, so the re we did have a discussion about staggering, like we had, I had this whole other thing and then we figured out we couldn't plant that far back and then, uh, so the reason why, about the staggering versus lining them up, we kind of wanted to find out or respect that the uh, Gazette might want to be able to have their building seen, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you line them up, although from a design perspective, mm -hmm. I would always stagger them, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, um, but if you line them up, when people drive by, you'll see Gazette, right, Gazette right, you right. know what I'm saying? So that, I'm not married to any of that stuff, but you know, that was our thinking. But if, it, if they're staggered, you know, um, depending on the angle where you are when you drive by, they're gonna look like they're in a row. And then you sure no no yeah, right right but what I'm saying is that um, it, it from when you plant like if you're if you're moving along here mm -hmm. and then you have them like this yeah and you have them in between when you're driving along it's going to block yeah. the view of the sign on the side of the building mm -hmm. so that's why we can line them up it's another good argument for sy sycamore because you're you're able to limb them up and yeah sure them way way up yep. All right, so do you have enough information to, I mean, do we have any further discussion on this? Because we're a little bit behind on the schedule and I don't want to. No, I don't, right. I don't have any further discussion. I'm okay. fine with making the change. I'm just, so I will email Mr. Riffenberg and actually kind of explain to him that we're going to change the tree species that's out of the front of the right. house. Was. Right. And then we'll take the uh, black cones and find another location Okay. for them. So you'd rather have the sweet gums on the other side than black gums? We, we could just move them over. I don't, I don't okay. see really any reason why you can't. That's a different, I mean, that's a whole, I mean, sweet gums are more like kind of conical. Conical, they have pretty strong mm -hmm. central leader. They're way taller. How know. are they gonna be next to a spreading yeah, kind of tree? Are they gonna be too close? And crowding it too much. I don't know. Okay. Well, I f I feel less wedded to that piece, so I I I am happy to defer to you guys on right. what's okay. happening behind behind okay. the bias well. Okay. Do others feel okay about That's that? Good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for accepting our call. Comments about the last J. All right. Good. Um. What else? What else about Arbor Day? that we we've got going we um i assume that we're, we're good with lining up volunteers for the whips yeah we've started getting volunteers tree northampton volunteers are signed up and we'll be putting out a um, a email to everyone who's done before first and then a few days later we'll send out an email to anyone else there are ships um does anybody here want to Part of Arbor Day. There's a Friday and a Saturday. Friday 8 a.m. to what's the date? Send us the email. I would probably yeah. Yeah, I would I probably check my email. Sign up for a shift. Yeah. I didn't bring my calendar. So you have like shifts in the email. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be helpful for, that. for me to get that. So email we're going to use Sign Up me. Genius. Sure. We have some oh, yeah. complaints about Sign Up Genius, but I think that's that people are now that they've complained, <laughs> maybe they will recognize this is not you know a nefarious software that is yeah. really a thing and it's okay to use. We sit all the time when in swimming. You all did, okay. Oh, yeah. All, we lived in the ball. It's like yeah. a genius. Oh, because oh, so it'll sing oh, your yeah. mind. Your, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We it's like it. It's really good. When we first used it last year, it was the first year we were using it, we got a lot of people who wouldn't click on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We use it at, at the YMCA all the time. Okay. Maybe people yeah. are a little more hip now to these programs. That yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got, uh, just to summarize, we've got whip distribution. Um, Sue's going to send uh, sign up, a link to sign up to you. We've got the Daily Hampshire Gazette, at least the biosoil planting. And we will have trees, you will have London planes ready. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, yes. and so we need to get volunteers for that, for that as well. Mm -hmm. We don't have a date for that. 
Are we going to, so? You wanted to do it during the week, right? It would be easier to be done during the week, so all these are, I believe, going to be. So Arbor Day's um, the 27th on Friday, and then that, that Saturday is the 28th. It's easier to get volunteers, I assume, on a Saturday, right? Um, yes and no. I mean, there's a lot of planting and volunteering going on during the week. We have some really great retired people in town. The, um, they're in grow back. They're in grow back. Especially if we could get people from Hospital Hill involved. I mean, they've been doing everything during the week. Is it cheaper for the city to have your crew doing it during normal working hours? Uh, is it cheaper for the city? Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, like I mean, not it, over time. And it, it is, but... So we could potentially do it on on Friday, on Arbor, Arbor Day itself? Friday is... We could, we could. We just have to have... We have to make sure that all, everything else is set and ready to go. You know, if you have enough officers, you have the whips. Um, you know, it would be easy enough to do it on Arbor Day just because of the fact that they're uh, in, in uh, fabric which makes it easier for us. We can just deliver them, we can dig the holes and plant them. And, you know, we figure with two months, we need to take an hour to plant the tree there. Yeah. So it's definitely doable, and you're not traveling all over the city. Right, so and it's, 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 it's the what, day. like six trees, right? Yes. It's six total that you'd be uh, plus the one, don't forget about that one in the in its own little yeah. island. Yeah, six. there's six, six. all together. Okay. You got so, the extra um, the end. so yes. that yeah. sounds really doable. I could probably recruit some people from South Street if you're if you're struggling for volunteers. Well, so. I won't know until asked. But um, do you want to just manage that, Lily, or I could? Do you yeah. want to just do that piece? Yeah. And we'll do the piece. Yeah. Either you know. Yeah. Sure. So okay. so you're yeah. thinking it's the week Arbor Day's the 27th. So we're 28th, thinking about doing right? it on Arbor Day. Which, which is Friday. Which is Friday, Friday the 20th, April 27th. Yeah. Like, would it make sense though to have one email that goes out to everybody? Um, yeah, you and I can work that out. Let's it. have, let's yes. have you and I work for it. Yeah. Okay. Go All right. On. And then, so, so, is there anything about Arbor Day that we're forgetting? The last thing is a press release about all this, and I think the only is there anything that's holding us up from me drafting a press release? We want to get the we want to get the mayor's approval on this letter, right? I, so I, well, Donna gave me the approval, and she said it didn't need to go to the mayor. Oh. But I think at this point, I, if it's going to be included in the press release that he's going to have, I'm going to send it to him. Okay. So All right. He has it. All right. So I will do the press release, and I'll you know, it sounds like I can do it the week before Arbor Day. Yeah. Yes. Lily, do you want to include the pre-city meeting that's going to be here in Northampton this year? Well, is it open to the public? I can mention it as an FYI, but I don't want people just showing it's up. It's done by invite. Yeah. It's done by invite. I could do it as like an, uh, that is an honor. Yes. Yeah, it's your feature. Mm-hmm. Okay. Probably ought to check with Molly just to make sure that that's definitely go before okay. you mm -hmm. put it in there. And also to maybe announce ahead of time and not, maybe she'd want to wait until that day to make it public who's going to win the prize. Oh. Well, I think we already know that we're going to get a growth award and a... Yeah, we've been approved for a growth award in our Tree City USA. So I can at least right. mention yeah. that this year we are... We know, but is it okay for it to go out in general? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we can check in with that. We can check in with Molly. Okay. All right, I think we're wrapping up 15 minutes behind on our schedule here. Um, wrapping up Arbor Day preparations, unless there's anything else we've forgotten. No, I feel like we're forgetting something, but I don't think it's no schools, no school. I, I no. did not hear back from Gwen Agda. No, I didn't get anything. Out of it. I, I, we're going to keep pushing on this, but I'm yeah. it's obviously not going to yeah, happen yeah, in yeah. time for us. That's our fine. Lunch. I just thought I yeah. if that was what we forgot. Yeah, no, it's, thank you. Um, did you want to say something? No. Oh, okay. I thought uh, I, 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 I heard a, a large was, intake of breath. I was just, I was just <laughs> you know how to write a press release. That was just, just keep it focused. The, the thing we want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. But he's, yeah. he's just All right. All right, so that's our review of the 2018 planting plan. Um, I think we can skip this one. I actually am going to suggest that we skip this one because we're behind schedule, A, and B, what we really are going to focus on tonight is the neighborhood tree planting because we worked on the registration form, and that's coming up on a future agenda item. Okay?
All right, and also Rob's not here, yeah. and, and I just feel like he's a key part of it. Yeah. Okay, is that okay? Do, do people object to me skipping over that one? Sure. All right, uh, election of officers. All right, it's um, four months behind that time of year. <laughs> um, so the way this works is uh, we nominate officers, the chair and the vice chair, and then we vote. And we can have discussion if you want. We can have discussion before, during them. Is Jay coming? Is who? Jay? No. But we have a quorum. Oh, well, is he coming? You know, maybe. I could I could I could switch these if you want. Oh I just yeah. suggestion. Do folks want to? Oh yeah, that might be a good idea. Just okay. to see if right. he shows up. Like I was us. also wondering, um and I'm not asking because I necessarily feel like it's important but or necessary, but do we want also a secretary? I kind of like playing that role, so that's one reason yeah. why I ask. Yeah. Because okay. How would that be different than what? So instead of Terry taking notes, like you would do it. Uh, is that what you mean? I would what, be what, what do you see that. I yes. What What do you envision? Yeah. Well, just somebody. I mean, often committees have um, a secretary. You know, somebody who's actually capturing mm -hmm. notes. But yeah, no, I'm not. Trying to take your job away, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to consider it. I was just wondering if it might be useful. Yeah. Or, or would that be redundant? Or mm -hmm. if it's redundant, is it a good redundancy? I see what you're saying. Could you do the to-do list and mm -hmm. yeah, keep up with that? Well, I also kind of try to be the historian too, kind of keep track of what we're doing. So if somebody <coughs> were to ask, can you compile what we've done in the past year? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be yeah. Available. Uh -huh. Kind of to tell our story. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna actually postpone the voting for another ten minutes in in the hopes that Jay arrives. Mm -hmm. But I will say that that this topic feels a little bit bigger than maybe we have time to chew okay. on. Um, I think it's an interesting thought, yeah. and I think it's something that we can certainly discuss. But I think the working out like. So would that mean that Terry would no longer need to be in meetings? W then would there be night? Or if, if not, would that mean that there's unnecessary duplication? Mm -hmm. I just feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions that we'd want to consider. Stay <laughs> with us, Terry. So so I, I, I prefer to not All right. do it like a spur of the moment yeah. Yeah. decision that big. All right, so I'm going to jump to the neighborhood tree planting. And um, this is one where, unfortunately, we could we couldn't um, print out because it's an online registration form. But how many of you can you look on it's you printing out? Yeah. yeah. Can we just make copies of it? I just printed out my job I don't so I could look at it. I don't think we actually need to make more copies of it. I think that we have enough you know, laptops that we could sit next to somebody who maybe you could you you yeah. obviously know what it looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I sent the link to Terry. Um, I've got it on mine? here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I read through it. it. Yeah, I you read it. You went up on my phone. Yeah. Oh. Sure. I just. Uh, Want me to give an overview? Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you Great. and Molly, go for it. Go for it, Marilyn. Well, um, this is something that we've talked about during the past year, and finally, uh, the three of us just got an online version through Google Forms. So we 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 took information from the three programs that we looked at, Davy Trees. Um, the tree tenders in Philadelphia and Amherst sort of took their information and created our own form. And um, it's, it's, it's a form that you fill in online and it populates a uh, spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so they're very descriptive. Yeah. So at, at the top we have a brief introduction, overview, and then we Can have that first here? information I know exactly what this is. fill in. So we took a lot of the feedback from our discussion at the last meeting and we just honed it. And made it into a form. And made it into a form. Yeah, yeah that's good. But we're thinking that the, the intro part would actually go on the website. So the form would actually only be, be the part that you fill out. Yeah. 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 Did everyone get that, Rich? That? So the, all the words, and you know what, let me put this in view form. It'll just it'll be a little bit more user friendly. The introduction part would be on the website before you actually go to the form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the city's website. Yeah. Yeah, I think that we need like a, a dedicated page 
for this. And the top part would be embedded text in on that page with the, the form right underneath it. Right, or link, link to the form or something. Oh no, the form can be just inserted right into oh. the page itself. Oh. Yeah. And show up looking just like that. And by the way, I only... The city of Northampton neighborhood tree planting application. I just have a few comments. Please. Yeah. Say, should say city of Northampton? City of. City of Northampton. Uh-huh. Okay. Tree planting application. You know what? I can, make, I can make changes right away. Um, it, in the scheme of things, and I don't mean to sound... I don't know what the right word would be, but the tree warden surely should always come before publication. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I did think about that. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so the City of Northampton Tree Warden and Public Shade Tree Commission, is that what you're uh, asking? The title should be City of Northampton oh, okay. Neighborhood City of Northampton Tree Planting. Planting. Tree okay. Planting. The, the Tree Warden and Tree oh, yeah. Warden yeah. Thomas, yeah. Northampton Public Shade yeah. Tree Commission. You should say the City of Northampton's Tree Warden and Public Shade Tree Commission in mm -hmm. partnership with Tree Northampton yeah. encourages neighbors to organize, et cetera. Yes. 501c3 partner organization. Yes. Okay, go on. Um, the other, so one thing that kind of jumped out where it says check all the apply. Mm -hmm. The first, uh, it says uh, we have obtained permission of all property owners where the trees will be planted. What does that exactly mean? Mm -hmm. Meaning, does it mean the tree belt? Does it mean setback plantings? Because if it's going to be so. So, okay, so scroll down. Did you see how we go into more depth when we go tree by tree? So scroll down. Was the number of trees to be planted? Please. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. This side is public, this side is public property, e.g. tree belt between sidewalk and street. This side is someone's front yard. Front lawns, we have owner's permission to plant a tree. Front yard owner understands the tree uh, public uh, public shade trees in perpetuity protect that. Okay. All right. So what we could do is we could just eliminate that checkbox because they're they're effectively going to be answering uh, it, answering that question regarding each single tree. And by the way, I only did as proposed tree number one and two, but there could be twenty. There could be multiples. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So my only question is, you're saying, okay, we have to. Oh, sorry, Rich, were you done? No, it's okay. Go ahead. No, you can go. No, sorry, I'm still on. As I'm, I'm, re I'm yeah. rereading it multiple times, and I'm just thinking how well okay, I was. Okay, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, sorry. Um, it says number of trees to be planted under a number at least ten. So let's say they're saying ten. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be like five different sites rather than two sites. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So my my previous point was that. I just didn't have the time or interest to repeat that over 20 times. Oh, but oh, I plan oh, oh. to repeat, that okay. was just a sample one and two, but oh, I plan to have yeah, number three, okay, four, good, good. up until about 25. Okay, got it. Okay, <laughs> oh, okay, that was my they only- They just won't yeah, be yeah. required fields. Yeah, yeah, got it, yep. Only 10 will yeah. be required yeah. fields. Oh, Rather than ask them to describe what it is. Exactly, you know- Address, because- we're, we're limited by the, you know the construct right. of the form right. and and the best solution we could come up with was to have each proposed site segmented out yeah like that originally the only was trying to do a grid and it just didn't work yeah it just is, it doesn't yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. does we're just curious does it seem like it's um detailed enough no, but not you just mm -hmm. it yeah. <laughs> So I was with it pre-internet. I was with an organization that we did this that people applied and they had to yeah. submit like a plan. Yeah. But um, it that I, I, I think, think that's too cumbersome. That. And it, it, I think we quickly be. want to know if they have the basic elements yep. to carry this yep. out, and then we quickly put them in touch with these guys. Yep. To help select the right tree for the right yep. site, and, and ensure that they you know understand. Yeah. Yep. All the parameters. Got the checkbox for the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> but we did say the more ta the more tasks your group can commit to, the stronger your application. Yeah, that's good. Apart. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Because that's real, right? We want to. Oh, here's an important thing. 
is that Molly, Marilyn, and I remember, and we could be misremembering, all three of us, um, that this was going to be a fall event, not a, not a spring event. Correct. Oh, okay. Then we, we didn't understand why you were proposing to do this in May. First of all, I don't think we're ready to... to no, I, I think... I don't know why. That's probably a mistake in my own. My mind is coming okay. miles an hour. I think it'd be better to do it in the fall, just for the nature of... We've already kind of set in stone that we do these arbitrate, these arbitrate. Yeah, it's going to be too much. There's yeah. really no way to jump from doing Arbor Day logistically to yep. doing a huge yeah. planning right. project right. and then continue to plant like we yeah. have been planting yep. sporadically yeah. through yeah. different yeah. places or through the seven wards. Yeah. So we're talking about Arbor. For, talking about so Orchard Street, is that the orchard, so the orchard, the purpose of the Orchard Street project was to pilot this. Yeah. Pilot so we really yeah, want them. Yes. We really want them to go through the motions right. of applying mm -hmm. online, so that we can right. shake out all the bugs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even though, um, even though it would be expedient for us to just do the Orchard Street project, we'd be missing that all that learning that we could do. Okay. Um, so when will Orchard Street? So, so that, so, so that, so, so that's a good question. So again, I think we. My personal feeling is, is that. If we're going to take the model where we do all our Arbor Day events and then do other street tree plantings between Arbor Day and let's say June 30th, we like stop just for weather purposes. And then in the fall, we pick up this project plus other plantings that we would do, the other plantings in the city that we have committed to doing. And then every year we just continue the same cycle. Mm -hmm. And then we actually just fill in the blanks with other projects, meaning every spring we pick another project for Arbor Day mm -hmm. and then plantings mm -hmm. citywide. And then we do this fall neighborhood planting. And then we do other plantings and we just keep going around in a circle. So every fall, we, you know, every January we're going to basically know where we're going to plant in the fall and yeah. where we're going to plant in the spring. Right. And then we target the nursery stock go and get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where I guess I was probably confusing everyone by changing these around. Yeah. I think Rob and I have talked about planting Orchard Street early on this year. Um, but, but it's not really been bad. Okay. So it's it's got to be it's got to be bedded I think before we, we have to figure out exactly if we have all the nursery stock first of all and what we're going to plant where we're going to plant and I just feel like we're going so fast yeah. that I want to yeah. put the brakes on it. Good. So, but okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying we couldn't do Orchard Street. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm. I'm completely in favor of, of doing this, even in pilot form in the fall, because that will give this uh, this community, this neighborhood, the opportunity to go through this process. I think I feel very strongly that even though they're getting an auto, you know, the green light, mm -hmm. they still have to jump through this hoop because we need to test. Oh, I see. So you're actually thinking about actually having them. Yeah. file an application Absolutely. now. And, and we, we can, can just tell them what. Shoot in. Sure, yeah, but yeah. we need to practice. We need, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what that Oh, that's interesting, yeah. okay. I see what you, I get what you, because oh, okay. there could All be right. little things that you're like, oh, this totally doesn't work. Right, right. this Before was not a helpful right. question. Oh, we forgot right. to ask this question. Right, exactly. Yep, I think that's a great idea. So, is that? Yeah, I know good? Alicia and Rob are talking about going to the cemetery side and citing. Yeah, the cemetery side is fine because that is not really part, that's not, that would be like asking the DPW a yeah. question, and that's not going to happen, we're just going to do that. Right. It's the rest of Orchard Street yeah. that mm -hmm. I can see that's, that's a good yeah. point, actually having them basically be the guinea pig guinea for this mm -hmm. particular project, and then doing the planting of Orchard Street in the fall. And, okay, so the um, big question is the stock. Or do we have the stock? Well, we have, I just made a contract for 168 trees, oh, plus we have okay. another 30 trees, plus we have other flexibility now. So how much is that? Trees. There's stock. Okay, yeah. so when the meeting happens with the neighborhood, you know, that you can steer them. Yeah, you can tell them that we've we got this yeah. and here's yeah. your choices. Oh, yeah. Right, you know, and we'll also that this is that. shooting for a fall plant. Okay, so and you can alert them that this they are the shoot in guinea pigs for this arm our neighborhood planting project. I just have, oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I think that we have another meeting this month, and I think it would be good to work out, you know, everything we've talked about in here, and then actually come back and convene again and talk about this to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we have all the commissioners tested? We can 
just donate? Well, we can we can do that, but I think it's good to have a conversation as a group mm -hmm. with Tree Northampton here to make sure that we're all on the same page, so there's not this um, any uh, misnomers about that we're planting this particular awesome. time and we're actually doing it in the fall. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Because so, yes, whatever, the fall. basically whatever yeah, we decide to do drives, in a sense, what Tree Northampton is going to do. Yeah, so yeah. We have to make sure, sure that we're sure. Okay. All yeah. All right. Back to uh, this thing. I did have a. I did think of you, Rich, when. There's some information, and the copy I have doesn't have all of it, about watering. And I know you've had a lot of experience with some people signing up to water, and then between vacations and maybe not understanding that you don't have to water if it's raining mm -hmm. a certain mm -hmm. amount, mm -hmm. and that there's you make a lot of judgment calls on when we water, when watering happens, and you do all of the watering, really. So I wondered how that corresponds with what's in here about watering. Can I make a suggestion so I can move the meeting along? My suggestion is that um, that is going to be something that once a neighborhood is selected, that level of kind of detailed, you know, amb ambiguous education can happen because it, we've asked them if they would agree to meeting with mm -hmm. the tree warden ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So that, that could be part of the, edu the pre-planting education about what some of the expectations are. Because I agree, um, people are just reading 15 gallons per week, and um, and and that's a very simplified version of the truth. Um, so I feel like there's there's room for getting into more education, but we don't necessarily have to iron that out at this stage. Right. No, that makes perfect sense. Okay. All right. I, I just have a quick question about the neighborhood thing. Like, if, let's say the church on uh, King Street, there's a Catholic church on King Street that like there's no trees and there's no tree belt and they said, oh, we want to do this and we want to put 10 trees on our property. Mm -hmm. Could they like apply? I mean like a non-profit or something could, or is it just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I mean they are, they would be considered an owner in the neighborhood. Yeah, okay. There are other neighbors that yeah. there are other folks yeah. that got together. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be willing to be flexible about it. Are you questions. wondering though because all the trees would be just on their property? No, no, I just yeah. wonder if, the, if, if you know, a nonprofit could yeah. say. Also yeah. remember, Jen, though, that every Arbor Day we look for those community planting mm -hmm. collaboration mm -hmm. right, right, right. So it's more likely that we'll be reaching well, we, out to yeah. them. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> that's probably a pretty good, you know, there's no choice yeah. of it. Okay, all right. Well, Thank were, you, were you saying, though, that just the word neighborhood could be ex exclude mm -hmm. a group? Uh, Community group that has mm -hmm. one parcel. It would, it would exclude commercial, or if downtown is considered. Downtown is really considered commercial, it's, but it is residential. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you had folks that were living in a neighborhood in multiple apartment buildings downtown, mm -hmm. yeah. they could cool. apply for. They, they yeah. could fill this application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should we call it community instead of neighborhood? No, I think neighborhood is actually yeah, because exactly that's what, what you're really after. Right. I was just curious if, yeah. if that could include if somebody said, hey. You know. Yeah. What about if some business on industrial drive, drive decided they wanted to let's work with coordinate them. something? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, Sue, so, Tree Northampton, and then Mags, you're up after that. Hey, thanks, sir. It's been busier, Tree Northampton. Um, the big focus right now is our delivery of trees. Possibly tomorrow, I think, and. Um, we have um, coordinated deliveries of materials up at the community garden for 4 o'clock, I think it is. If anybody's interested, I can loop you in if you want to meet up there. It's supposed to be a pretty lousy weather day, but that's <laughs> what it is. So that's what we're planning on. And it um, should be pretty exciting. We'll have people up there working, and I'll, I'm going to go after work. Where'd you get the truth from? Their whips? You know what we ordered them, and I don't have the name of the place, right? Um, that's a good tab. Of, I can get you more information if you're interested. But um, we're pretty excited about it. We're going to have a lot of trees going in. And so we'll have stock in a few years. We'll have more trees to get out there and get planted. So that's um, real high on, that's on the front burner right now. And of course, also meeting about the, um, the Arbor Day and what we'll give out. We'll have some little activities and things like that again in front of City Hall and get volunteers. It's good great, great visibility for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that. So that's, that's our big stuff that's going on right now. 
All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. On to the next. All right. I am going to let Magsy um, give her proposal about the uh, tree labeling, and then we'll circle back to the elections. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a pilot project for my Smith College Botanic Garden summer internship, and it's a a proposed collaboration between the Smith College Botanic Garden, the Northampton Tree Commission, or the city of Northampton in general, and probably Child's Park, to introduce Tree Speak, Smith College Botanic Garden's uh, program to put recordings about specimens and species on trees to downtown and parks in Northampton approximately five to 10, probably more like five to 15 this summer through my project. And can you describe how that works next? Mm -hmm. Yes, so Smith College Botanic Garden will train and support me as an intern and, and supply the preliminary materials, supplies, means for recording. And the I'll be working on throughout the summer research of and, and choosing specific trees from Northampton, making um, bios about them to be recorded, choosing people to record them, making the QR codes. Northampton and Charles Park will host the, according to this proposal, will host the recordings on their websites and maintain the tags and recordings after my project. So I just wanted to pause a second mm -hmm. because that was not how I conveyed the original proposal. Smith College had originally said, we'll host the tree speak on, on their website, but they, they considered it a little further and realized that actually they, it, would, it was simpler if they just gifted this, get, you know, gifted the labels, gifted the, the audio behind it, and had the city of Northampton host, web host, its own recordings which is actually a very simple thing. So we would just have it embedded in our city website. I'm sure I could work, yeah. we could work, Magsy could work with Karen to make yeah, that. QR codes are really simple. They just go to a URL, and that URL would have a picture of the tree, the, the bio written out for people who are hearing impaired, and also the recording. So you hold up your phone. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of the QR code, yeah. send it to that URL, and you can play it. Right. Yeah. And whose voices do you want to use? Young people, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. We had a lot of Smith students do the ones at, at the BG, of course. So maybe I'd be at one of the elementary schools. That'd be wonderful. We we were thinking about doing legacy. Do you think that will be part of this? So know. that that feels like a whole other agenda item that we need to circle back to which is whether or not um, we are going to initiate a legacy tree program, a car you know, a carbon offset tree program. Mm -hmm. But most likely, Magsy, that won't be your okay. concern for this year because we will already identify established specimen trees that don't have anyone a legacy attached mm -hmm. to it. But I think that's something that we could eventually do if we expand this, then you know, a young voice could say, this tree is, a, you know, is, um, was planted in honor of da 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 da, or this tree is planted to offset da 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 da, pounds of carbon, that kind of thing. What do you mean by legacy tree as opposed to, say, a champion tree? Oh, it, it's because it's been funded by someone. So oh. legacy just means usually should. in someone's honor. Oh. It's not a oh. memorial tree. Oh. It, it, it could be someone who is alive currently, not necessarily. What about um, no. I assume we might do like notable trees, especially notable trees like champion sure. trees that are in Northampton. Yeah, I'm considering yeah. champions and then a species that are yeah. more interesting. Yeah. What trees are you considering? So I haven't really got, got there yet. I haven't really got there yet because a lot of the champions are out of downtown, and mm -hmm. originally I'd wanted to focus on downtown, but mm -hmm. champions are really important. So. I, uh, when I get to the project, I'll consider that more. Yeah, and and, and it's a conversation. You know, mm -hmm. she would she would propose some trees, and we would right. have a conversation with her about. Like if those trees choices. are 
going to stay around for a long time or not. That's mm -hmm. something important yeah. to know. This tree will be cut Stays. down in Next eight months. Watch out for the war, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really? Is that your recording voice? Um, I'm not going to be um, that voice for well, well, recording the one. Yeah, I think <laughs> no, it's probably you. likely going to be myself or other interns that have really clear voices and are, mm -hmm. are good speakers so that anyone who accesses it can don't hear it well. This guy's got a great Yeah, I'm telling you. Wonderful. If you're looking for him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we have considered <laughs> Although, I don't think you can compete with the guy who works at Deals and Steals. You've got to go in that store just to hear this guy's voice. <laughs> I'm telling Which you. Guy? You'll know when you go in. <laughs> you <laughs> cannot miss it. <laughs> um, so uh, just an idea, a captive audience on a website, can we get them to donate at the same time? Oh, really? Either to Tree Northampton or whatever fund mm -hmm. we have available. We don't have a fund set up, or at least not visible. Eventually, I think that's a really great... Yeah, that's I mean, if they're on their great. phone and they're, yeah. they're having a thing, and do PayPal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah just so start your credit card. We're always interested in directing to Street Northampton so people have a way, I mean, our whole purpose is mm -hmm. a way for people to get involved in that community. How big would the tech be? They would be, so the ones at Smith are about this size. I, I think they're four by, by two. Just Maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. They're, I mean, they're not super small. Like the small, size but of a note card, right? And they're, yeah, about they're about. About the size of a note card. Yeah, yeah they're about. But there will be some information on it in case somebody doesn't have the phone to do that. Well, so, will we say the type of tree? So this is an ongoing conversation with Smith. We've suggested, because if you're putting all the information on the tag, then it's going to be much bigger mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. more interesting for people to take. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were thinking well, maybe two or three sentences, just a little introduction about the, the specimen to get someone interested in using their phone. I know we, we discussed about the accessibility of, of QR codes for people who don't have smartphones. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we came to a, a decision, at least on that end, that it, was, it would be accessible for enough people who would be interested in in the tree specimen, and that the written would be on the on the um, the site that it took you to. Although the accessibility point wouldn't just be numbers. Like there's enough people with smartphones, but that's a certain demographic. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah. It's it a is. bigger demographic than you might you might you know guess. A lot of low income people have smartphones. Yeah. I mean, I have one, but I'm just thinking, yeah. Yeah, not I everybody mean, does. Yeah. Yeah. I work with some Mostly people who don't are older people. Yeah, yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah, that's, that's true. That is true. Yeah, so I think it would have a little bit about the tree, so it's, it's not like you're totally losing from mm -hmm. the situation. Yeah. But they could always go to the library and access it from your website mm -hmm. instead of being right in front of the tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's certainly mm -hmm. a bit more effort, but mm -hmm. if they're really interested in the information, it's accessible. Rich, since this will be a collaboration with the city and Smith, is there anything about this, that any red flags that are raised? Uh, no, you just talked about having an MOU, which is good. If you donate, if Smith is going to donate the physical assets, then there has to be a letter that states they donate the uh, tangible, not intangible, I can't remember which one it is. I can take some kind of donation, yeah. just no cash. Right. No cash but, checks. Yeah. Um, things of that nature. So no, I, I, I think it's I, I think it's great. I mean I like walking around Smith myself and actually looking at the trees. It just just and even when I was at UMass as a student, and I still every time I go over there I walk around and look at all the tree species and their names are on them and it's just yeah. fantastic. I mean it makes you think. Um, but this actually takes it a step further because it gives you some historical perspective of the tree species and if it was planted uh, by someone or for someone. Or just the city in general. Um, no, I think this is really great. I mean, it, you know, eventually, 100 years from now, we will hope that we have planted enough trees here and they'll be mature enough that people uh, like ourselves, uh, 100 years from now, can enjoy these trees and actually they'll be a historical 
there'll be, there'll be history to that. So. And all our names will be on the little QR code recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so one of the things, though, one of the uh, very uh, technical things is that you, somebody should check in with IT on your end to make sure that there's no concern about housing the recordings. Yeah, that might be a little bigger conversation. That might be a conversation at the, at, uh, the mayor's office level, but I guess I just need some more information about exactly what you're going to be asking us to house. Mm -hmm. Some technical information, if that's possible, mm -hmm. you can get that to me. Yeah. So I can actually get it to Karen, and if Karen thinks it's a no-brainer and we can just do it, then we could probably just get Antonio Bay, who's the IT director, his approval. Um, you know, but I think anything that's on the city's web page, anything that's on the city's web page, the content is usually approved by the mayor's office. Right. You know, but, so that would be good to have that information. Great. But see. it's just an MP3 file, an image, and then a little bit of text. It's probably not going to be a big deal. We we'll put right underneath. Uh, yeah. Well, he might, he, Karen might make a, a new dedicated page for it, which would be no big deal. And then it, there could be a, a little a little hyperlink in the in the. We'll have more pages than the rest of the DPW. So. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking over the world. Next, what's the process for selecting the trees? Have been established by Ed. It's, okay. it's phase one. Yeah, yeah. Um, one thing to consider would be after the initial project is put up on the website and everything, in the years to come, if a tree is cut down or something happens. Who and and a you know a description is added or taken out. Um, who would be doing that? That's a really good question. You don't necessarily have Thanks to too. have these answers now. What what we're doing, Mags, is we're just starting a conversation. Yeah. And you should just capture some of these good questions, mm -hmm. and then they can be ones that we can flesh out further at another um, yeah question. Right. Something to think about. Yeah. Like, I think uh, Marilyn's question was excellent, which is, what's the process for choosing the trees? So if you want to wrap your brain a little bit about that, make some suggestions, bring it back to us, mm -hmm. then we can do that. And vice versa, I can send out Maxie's email, and if you have some thoughts about it, you can send them to her. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Great project. Thank you. And I, just one other little thought that I have right yeah. now. I think it would also be cool to have, when you go to that, each individual site, for there to be a map that shows where all the other ones are. Yeah, so it's, Pen? Yeah, it's, it's a little complicated because originally they were going to be part of Smith's map. Mm -hmm. they, have a, they have a map of it. But they're having a lot of technical work done right now and it would be too much to ask of them to, to host stories. But I really want them all to be connected so people can Tell so maybe you know maybe there can be a map. so so write that down as a thought and one thought out. is we can is, is there a way on my tree keeper to flag trees that are in that are yep. you know have tree yep. labels and yep. then somehow sort for that I don't know if, if that's possible uh, yes actually you would go to there's uh, what they call quit filters. And we mm -hmm. can actually make an icon. Great. That can actually just and you hit that quick filter, and it's going to just highlight the tree species. The trees, the trees and you know what's great is that there's already information about that tree in that Correct. filter yep. already. And this yep. could be something that you could put on the site. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To the, mm -hmm. So we we would have to explain on the web page how people would filter for mm -hmm. the other all it's the other intuitive. In terms of the program uh, going beyond the internship, is this something that Smith has, or uh, we could ask if they could commit to the supplies for this going forward? Unfortunately, no. It, it'd be a one-time. Of course, because it's Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, so, but, but the supplies, um, you know what? They're, they're high quality, and so they would last as long as people do not take them. I'm going to give the answer to that too. Yeah. I'm going to say we don't know the answer to that yet. I think that what we do is we execute this very well. We do a lot of promotion. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's a, it's a, it's a total feather in Smith's cap to to be giving to the city this way, and we see what comes after. Yeah. Yeah. My thought was that the the neighborhood groups that are going to go through this 
substantial effort of going through the application and having a day and whatever. Right. It'd be a pretty cool thing to memorialize Ooh. the community, nice. uh, the neighborhood effort, have them record their own, you know, this is why we did this for this neighborhood, you know, so when oh, wow. we sell Whoa. our homes in New York. Mind blow right now, mind blow. <laughs> it's like, what, what, is, what is that thing where you interview each other on NPR? What's that called? Story Corps. Story Corps. Yeah, Story Corps. Yeah, it's yeah, really cool. Yeah, tree but tree that is a substantial jump from yeah. what we're talking yeah. about here. <laughs> so maybe you just made yourself an internship for next year. <laughs> and down sure. Sure. Or maybe you should do the internship. There's, you know, I have a fall yeah. project. And yeah, then yeah. I'm staying in the area. Wonderful idea. Yeah. But it's, a, it's ambitious. So, mm -hmm. and also, what Smith at this point in time is committing to yeah. is this. Yeah. yeah. So I say we do this well, and then it'll blossom. Yeah. Who yeah. manufactures the actual little thing? The, so the they order the plastic, plastic, and then they print it with they they print this this label on a on a special piece of non paper that's resistant to weather, and then they, and then they stick it on. Oh, cool. And that is yeah. weather resistant. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's that's printed cool. or is it engraved? It's printed. It's printed. Yep, they have a, a Photoshop with layers of text. Mm -hmm. cool. So they're does their graphics person lay it out mm -hmm. and do it and yeah. they're set on their printer mm -hmm. for this mm -hmm. project. They're running that. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm not sure how. So they they use them on stakes, and it, it's a conversation about. We need to have a conversation about how you would mm -hmm. right. attach these mm -hmm. or have them near the trees mm -hmm. right. in a downtown mm -hmm. setting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. To be continued. Yeah. So this was just an introduction. Um, I want to move us along because we're. Uh, we thanks. We like to end by five forty-five. Jen, and are you heading out at five? No, no, I don't. No, it it hasn't started yet. It, no, it's at seven. So oh, it's at seven, right? Oh, yes. right. I'm telling you, six okay. Months, but yeah. All right. I'm good. It, any further questions for Max? Wait, how many are we starting with? Probably five to fifteen. It says five to ten on here, but I, yeah. you know, that you know, if, if I finish, ten is a small amount, so I'm I'm, I'm hopeful that I can. Excellent. All right, thank, thank you. Thank cool. you very much. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're circling back to election of officers. So we have chair and vice chair. We'll start with the we'll start with the chair. So we need nominations, second, discussion, and vote. I nominate Lily for chair. I second. Discussion? Let's hear a What's your feelings about I am delighted to continue um, on the I, yeah. <laughs> I will say that when I first, when I did my first year, I, I, I thought that I would do it for just one year. Um, but I, I feel like, oh really? Uh, I, but I feel like I've gotten into a good groove and um, I enjoy the work. I like working with Rich, Claire and Terry. Um, uh, and I love working with all of you, so I'm happy to continue. Thank you. All right. Move uh, the question. All right. All, all in favor. favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Abstain? Okay. Nice. Thank you. Mm, thank yeah. you. For another year, thank you. Sir. Yeah. All right. So, um, nominations for vice chair. I nominate Todd Ford. I second. Discussion? Todd? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm happy to continue. I think um, hopefully we can uh, dial in some of the uh, more, some of the challenging policy work that has uh, is slow. Um, but I think uh, working with Rich and the city attorney will be able to tackle some of that. Um, so, um, yeah, I look forward to the next. I think we're really hitting our groove, frankly. Yeah. Um, I think with a little bit, uh, some more structure in our plans, I think it's going to be, you know, these meetings will continue to be uh, brisk and we'll move forward well together. Great. And I will say that I am 
always happy to turn over chairing of meeting when I can't make it to Todd. And I also lean on Todd a lot behind the scenes more than maybe it, it, it is evident um, because I value so much his big picture um, vision and his, the, his special skill set that he brings to the commission. So I'm delighted to have him as vice chair. All right. Great All in favor. Good sense of All in favor. <laughs> yes. All right. So no further discussion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Okay. You're in. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think we are wrapping up. We've got to-do lists. The elms. Oh, the elms. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Did you want to add one more comment to make about that? You Me? said elm location. Um, yes. Let's see. What was I? That was going to be any other business. <laughs> I forgot. Right. To um, what was I going to say about elms? Um, Darn, yes, the question what were you going to say? It was the locations of the elms. I have it here. Oh, 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 oh. I was asking about whether they would make sense in front of Cooley Dick. The, the four bare root trees that you're referring to? Um, well, there were a lot more than four. Well, at yeah. this point, there aren't. Oh. There's no guarantee there's, for there's one. There's no really no. There's only four that we know that are going to come here. Oh. From, they're going to be donated from Nick, per se, from UMass. Oh, oh. 45 other elms. I don't know if we're getting 45, if we're getting 10. We don't oh. have any really, we don't have any really mm -hmm. concrete information. Oh. Other than we have been asked to be part of the pilot program. Mm. Um, and the thing about them is we don't know how big they're going to get, right? We don't know if they're going to be large are, trees or medium trees. Are there any M varieties that are small? They're probably, I mean, I think you don't know the, you know, the, yeah, I don't like think you know the, the ultimate, you know, yeah. But more or less, like, like, but they're gonna like American big. elm versus. Yeah, um, yeah. they're going to be. There's the shape is going to be very slippery elm is they're, smaller. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they are. Yeah, they're American. They're American elms. Okay, okay. So, you know, but there may be like some very little. You know, it's not like they've been cloned over time. But in general, they're large tree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So to to build on your suggestion, um, I would just say that let's let's put those in really high high visibility sites like like if there are any juicy spots along Elm Street. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, Elm Street. That's appropriate. I know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't used to have that. I will utterly benefit. offer my front yard at 296 Elm Street. I will. I have a setback. I have. I had to take down a, a sugar milk maple that died. Oh. But that feels a little funny, so if that feels weird, I mean, it's going to become a public shade tree, and it is on Elm Street. You're, doing, you're going to do the legal ease, so it's Yeah, yeah, fun. sure. I, for, for an Elm tree? Go for it. Yeah. Um, I think that would be great. So, but, but I think there might be some other good spots. I, you, know, you know that one house that has the iron um, fence in yeah. front of Elm, where you guys planted, I think, some sequoias or something? Yeah, the Madison Boy uh, it used to be the Ninja Turtle person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Well, is there any more space there? Huge beach in there? Sure, yeah. There's yeah. going to be other trees on that side of your parking lot. Down is that giant silver maple that's okay. hanging on, which is down by Franklin Street. So there's definitely room. That is an enormous tree belt there. So yeah, that's a big tree belt. Yeah. That would be great to have elms on yeah. more elms on Elm Street. Yeah. Okay. Headline writes itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it does. March. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I would like to move us to the to-do list, so let's quickly go around this circle and um, summarize what we're doing. I can start. Okay. Uh, I'm going to um, connect with Rich to get a plan, a base, uh, plan for the Cooley parking lot area, and then I'll contact Rob and Jay and see if we can come up with something, and then we can run it by Rich and mm -hmm. present it here. Okay. And you are also um, going to work with the same body to review the Gazette. Oh, okay. Um, this, the setback portion of the Gazette. We, uh, we, we decided that we were going to replace the, the, the tree belt. Oh, decide whether, um, yeah. decide whether they should be the sweet gums or the, the black gums. Or the black gums. Yeah. Okay. Right. Carolyn, okay, okay. Uh, no, I am going to no, receive a spreadsheet from Rich for the landscape company mail and create a Google Doc and I'll share that with everybody if anybody wants to add other companies outside of Northampton. 
for this Arbor Day meal. The only things I have are, I don't have any new things on here, but there's some old ones. I had EAB trap monitoring. I forget if that was, was that with you or with Jay maybe it was? That would have been Jay. Um, I think there was an opportunity to get traps. There was something, something like a trap down at Arcadia or something? Yeah. Uh, we have to ask Jay. I, I don't remember what that Jay was. Um, I think you could get free traps. Oh. You can, but they typically don't. They're, they're not giving them out if uh, EAB has already been oh, okay. spotted in oh, oh, our oh. community. They have been moving them towards the eastern part of the state to concentrate areas yeah. just for. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. It's everywhere given the sprinkle that it's in. Yes. It's, it's everywhere. Okay. Anything else, Molly? Well, I have some old ones. Yeah. Follow up with Molly Furliger regarding planning for pests. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what to do about that. Um, that was pretty EID. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one of the questions in regards to that is that the commission as a whole, I know that I go to a lot of continuing education stuff about uh, pest pressure. Yeah. Are any of you interested in going to any of those Yeah, things? I want to go to the EAB one in Pittsfield. Okay, so I, I, we can sign you up to do that. Um, that one is, I think, is free. I, I've not gotten mm -hmm. the bill for it, but there are other ones. So I think in that vein, it would be good to actually somehow or another uh, encapsulate or figure out, like I get, I get the uh, Citizen Forester, mm -hmm. and that actually talks about all the upcoming workshops. So that would be a oh. good place for us to actually yeah. just continue to kind of look at yeah. every month or every two months when it comes out as to where the workshops are, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel maybe. Mm -hmm. Everyone can sign up for that too. So uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's so a instead, of, instead of creating, mm -hmm. instead of recreating oh. something for you to deal, you know, Molly, you know, what workshops are available, and so on and yeah. so forth. I mean, the information is there. Yeah. Okay. What's mm -hmm. the name of it? Citizen Force. Citizen Force. Email Molly Furniture. Yeah. Yeah, and she'll right. put you on the list. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think I tried to do it, and the button didn't work or something. Okay. I've seen the Eldritch book. All right. I am going to. I am committing to getting six volunteers for um, Arbor Day to plant in front of the Daily Hampshire Gazette. Um, eventually, I'm going to write a press release about Arbor Day. Um, what else do I have here? You know, commissioners, what our new time? Thank you. Five to six forty-five. Oh, you you weren't here for this, Todd, but but. Per the doodle poll, mm -hmm. we have now effective next meeting moved meeting time to, for, to five to six forty-five. That was the only window. You 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 check that box. I know. I didn't like it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you did because we we were stuck. Um, so five to six forty-five, and I actually may not be here because yeah. there's typically a group. It may be something like Forbes Library. So to be determined. Yeah. Right. Anything else that I missed? That's not, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Great. Todd, what do you up to? Uh, following up with Rich to schedule a meeting with the city attorney to go over questions regarding our public shade tree protection ordinance. Also, have we followed up to see where the tree list lives in terms of getting it adopted in zoning and rules and regs? It's still a work in progress. Is it working in progress, or is it just? It is working in progress. I think that the yes, it's, okay. a, it's a bigger discussion at okay. this yeah. time. Right, yes. All right, Rich, okay. you always have the longest list. So, well, Terry is going to research meeting location, meeting venues. That's mm -hmm. Okay, so that's I really need with Terry will help me with that. Um, I'm going to rework the. Rework these letters. <coughs> um, correct my own name. Um, <laughs> get them to get uh, because you're going to incorporate that in the um, press release. I'm going to get a copy down to the mayor's office. Okay. Uh, Change the time. And we have, yes, and then I think we can't really send that out until we actually mm -hmm. determine if we can meet here consistently. Right, right, right. So. And Terry, um, when the boilerplate that I sent you, we changed time and location. Thank you. Well, the other thing we could do too is we, if we have various places we have to meet now, we could actually just put a link on there 
the, to where this meetings are located. Say we just meet every so and so, and this is the link. Here you go. Oh, to work. send it out. To yeah, so, so you can get it out. So that yeah, mm -hmm. so that I can get the letter out. So I'm not doing this in May. This yeah, is yeah. What I'm to say, I want to get this done right, right. next week. Yeah, that's the way to go. I can yeah. just say yeah. Um, Click okay, here. So you work. Um, I'm actually in the process of writing an email to Rob to talk to him about the discussion we had today okay. about the change of the plant species. Yes, yeah, please let him know that I read. I read his. Yep, email I, I will. I will fill. I yes, I will take care of that and. Um, Working with him and John from Amherst Nursery to get our order over here, at least for 70 trees, including probably the majority of the London plain trees. Mm -hmm. um, and trying to connect with Alan Seawald uh, so we can have a meeting with him or at least have some kind of a discussion, even if it's by email or a phone conference, about our uh, local ordinance. And I'm sure I'm probably forgetting a lot. I mean, it's just, a, you know, there's other kinds of stuff the whips have to be done you have to bag them um, you have to make sure that uh, I have a crew that's going to be available which I believe so they've all been we've all spoken to them um, so I mean I have like a million things to do okay just a few other uh, little little things rich um, email that spreadsheet to me and then and then I'll make oh, yeah, updates yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. and you were going to talk with Lithenberg at the Gazette Oh yeah. Once you talk to Rob mm -hmm. uh, and, and and you figure out you, know, you finalize, just loop him in for sure. Riff I actually him. might want to go down there and just talk to him in person because I, I I don't want to make it more confusing. Yeah, yeah that's that might not be a bad yeah. idea. At and, this point. and because I, my if you read the email, well, it's, well, it's a little complicated. The other thing too is that the email says that you know we're, the time frame. My personal opinion is I think as far as we're going to get is. Biosoil. Yeah. Oh, because sure. that has got too much light work to do on their own oh, side. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we all agree that for Arbor Day. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Okay. And then just check with Molly to see if we can all go to the tree city. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Tree city uh -huh. USA. Because uh -huh. there's a meal involved, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, oh, really? it's <laughs> no great shakes, but I mean. That's wonderful. Molly's <laughs> <laughs> watching Molly. the living room. Molly. Molly. When do they post the video? The video of Washington? No. Oh, Usually within two weeks. Oh, Terry okay. tells me Thank that you. it gets you can't hear. It gets views. It gets yeah, one of them that I was with today from Somebody 2015 at like 800 Oh views. my gosh. What? <laughs> really? I've cleaned up my mouth. Ever since she told me. They're all from Japan. Japan. You hey, know, I think maybe <laughs> if the college is looking at our, you know, you did something with UMass and the professor um, might send college students to oh, those. No. Oh, oh, to see what a commission mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Okay. You can go on and they'll show you how many views. It's hard to it's hard to hear on the TV. You can also go out and see. Oh, I, I always say, Rich, you want to see what you look like two years ago? Right, no, that's uh, really cool. And you're like, oh, no thanks. <laughs> Trying to fix it all up. Trying to pretend there's something. No. No. Okay, I think we're ready to wrap up. Um, am I missing anything? Motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Adjourn. All right.